is that just Dan's room? Dan, that's not your room, obviously. What are you trying to deceive? <laughs> no, I'm at home. It's all good. I'm, I'm at home. Why is your hair glowing purple? Oh, I've got a... <laughs> Why does it look like you're keyed out and the key doesn't even keep up? I got a, just a, I like a, a black light kind of backlight thing in my room, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Still, Wait, hold on. That's still that an image. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Wait, are you in the podcast room? Uh, I mean, well. Because it, it still looks like, oh, you are in the podcast room. You Wait, are. Wait, what? There's all the kinds of garbage <laughs> back there. I've been living on that couch. There's like a bottle of LaCroix and chip bags back uh, there. Hold on. Uh, it, here. Or wait, hold on. No, I'm just, I, I'm chilling. I'm chilling at home, guys. So it's no big deal. Dan is living on the, on the couch at the podcast studio. Is, don't you have a better place to crash than that? Not that I mind. I'm just. I mean, <laughs> have you laid down on this couch, dude? It's, it is comfortable. I it's like, it. it's yeah. legit. This is better than my apartment. So I don't know. There's nobody here. I figured. So you're in eat and sit. That's funny. What does that mean, Dan? Is that some kind of psychological thing? <laughs> you're sitting in my seat. You're in the podcast studio. What's going on? You have some unresolved issues? I am the podcast now. It still looks so fake. That does it look fake. fake. That's Weird. what I'm saying. It looks like a green screen. But this I can is... tell it's not because it's not keying him out. The hair, yeah, I can tell the, the purple is real. Yeah, it's so By weird. the way, like, these oh. buffalo. Oh, I want that. Are they hype? Yeah, dude. They hype? So is this officially the worst uh, podcast we've ever done? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Here, let's watch Dan uh, eat chips. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, did you do the chip uh, voice remover? Yeah. The AI? <laughs> Advanced AI so chip. How does it sound? You got crunch? Crinkle the bag. Crinkle the bag. Yeah, it's <laughs> not good. Ugh. I think that was Skype. I don't think Zoom has. They don't have the technology over at Zoom yet, so they're working on that. Well, we've caught up with the guys. They will be on the call with us as we go through our episode today, uh, chiming in as as uh, they see fit. So the guys are here with us, ever present, not only in our hearts and minds, but in uh, physical bodies as well. So that's exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got to stop doing it into the, the mic, poor, probably. Yeah, the poor listeners. Well, we have a lot to get to, and I feel like we just talked. Oh, my God. I still want to see Ian's room, because I feel like... Is Ian not showing his room? I've only been... Do you want... Uh, I can turn it off. Yeah, let's see what you I have a I have a thing on the wall that the, the guys judged me for. <laughs> so you guys can... <laughs> judge you this. as being awesome. Let's see. Okay, Dan liked it. Okay. All right, so... <laughs> this <laughs> painting... That, well, it's not a painting. It's Is it a cat? Cat? Here, I'll, I'll grab it and bring it closer. Yeah, I can't really tell what it is. is you don't room, recognize your boy? Yeah. Your room so, is really neat, Ian. Yeah. Thank you. You, you keep it tight, tight shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, disturb it, what bro. is Why this? Is that? <laughs> you have in bubbles? What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, there's something... <laughs> There's something about this that is just so unsettling to me. Seriously. That I but you hung it in your room. You wanted that I wanted it. It's okay. Right, it's I actually weird. prepared. Yeah. All right, Dan yeah, has it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ian, have you seen the actual piece in person? Yeah, it's at a museum uh, here in here in Los Angeles. Who made that and why? This guy named Jeff Coons. He does a lot of. Um, That's Jeff Coons. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. So he does what, a lot of big pop was, art. He does the like the blow up stuff. So his intention probably was to make something outrageous and unsettling. Yeah, it's just so strange. I, I just every time I go to that museum, I just like <laughs> stare at this thing because it's freaky. I, I don't know. Did we tell the story when we were looking at houses, and we walked into one of these houses we were oh, looking at? Oh no, I don't think we did. So we're looking at houses in um, I think it was Calabasas. Yeah. And it was like, it was a nice house. And you can tell whoever lived there had like old money, like they'd been around for a while. They had a, they were, they probably lived in a house for thirty years. And um, first of all, when you walk in, the whole kitchen was they had slot machines, popcorn machines, 
arcade games. Like total um, Vegas vibes. Yes, it was like Vegas theme, but like kids, but kidsies too. Kids vibe too, and like an old person vibe because yes. it was an old person. Yeah. And then, so that was really strange. And like really the strange. kitchen had purple lights, right? Yeah, there was purple ambient lighting everywhere. And then when you go out into the backyard, it was a small backyard, but they had converted the entire backyard. You know how there's like resorts, have they have like this fake rock landscape for pools and a water slide? So their entire backyard, a small backyard, every inch of it was just like fake resort rocks and um, and this really over the top waterfall and pool. I but I the other thing I remember is that there was a very active beehive <laughs> near the <laughs> pool, and there was just a hordes, hordes, hordes of bees. All right. So we <laughs> so that's the downstairs. Then we go upstairs, and on the landing, like halfway up to the master, there's a little kids' room, with like a twin bed or smaller, with purple ambient lighting under the bed. Like. <clears throat> purple party house kind of vibe but it's a kids room but so then this is when it gets really weird is we go into the master bed actually in the kids room there was a picture of michael jackson yeah. over the child's bed no come yeah. on but, so then, on the actually caught it even before we went to the house when we were just looking at the pictures he was like did you notice that there's a michael jackson in the kids room and this was but right we were like okay whatever <laughs> well maybe it's just whatever uh, this was right as, at the time that the documentary came out, too, <laughs> yeah. so we were hyper aware of all the Michael Jackson stuff. So then you walk into the master bedroom, and there's literal shrines to Michael Jackson everywhere. Yeah. There's, like, signed photos, paintings, pictures. And one struck to me in, in particular that was so bizarre was a little picture of michael it was like this big the actual photo yeah right at the entrance of michael this big and then a wooden frame that was like this big surrounding <laughs> it i mean uh, um it was just it, it was so weird that um it was just so weird and it was and uh it was an old guy did you meet the owner no they no. were no they were gone they were scarce because like it was like a realtor showing the house, you know, <clears throat> some bad vibes. That was the weirdest so vibe weird. by far. Yeah, but yeah. like you had to, you had to be there. Yeah, the they, they had this like slot machines everywhere. Mm. And then up on the landing, there was a little mini bar upstairs, and there was a ton of dead bees on the ground. <laughs> Inside <laughs> <of> bees, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a ton of dead bees inside. Okay. <laughs> Move on. <clears throat> it's like a Twin Peaks. Uh... It was truly like a Twin Peaks. Uh, yeah. I was expecting some like a uh, little person to come talking backwards. Talking backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 